so what is the Zardoz. Kalam argument, Zardos? I, I, I don't I don't know what the Kalam argument is in this case. Yeah, um, uh, William Lane Craig uh, is uh, that, that that's one of his favorites. Uh, Kalam is an Arabic word, and um, uh, so 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 this this is, a, is you know one of many flavors of the of the cosmological argument. Uh, the way it goes, um, if I recall correctly, is um, uh, all things that come to into existence had a beginning. Uh, I'm sorry. All, all, yeah. Um, right. And and uh, the universe came into existence. Therefore, the universe had a beginning. That, so, that's the idea. Okay. So <laughs> we we talk a little bit about this one, um, where you know everything in the world has a cause. Therefore, the mu there must be a first cause. And, and yet, of God. course, we know science tells therefore, us things that, that no don't first cause for God. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and then, and, but God is the one exception. It's not something else that it's except the exception. It must be God. Right. And it's again, there's this one YouTube video I did like early days when I'm trying to figure out how YouTube works, where it was just this this one cut of one guy holding a ball that looks like it was made out of masking tape. You know, and who made this ball? Me. Who made me? God. Who made God? This is a wrong question. And then I cut it right there. And it's that that is special pleading and you know, and a whole bunch of other logical Was he just excited there. about his ball of masking tape? I mean that's I sounds... painted it red. Well who, who wouldn't be? That, yeah, that sounds very nice. Exactly. Yeah. And mm, Oh, we actually have a phone call about uh uh about the uh about the the Kalam argument. This is Brad from Pine City, and he has a question about the Kalam argument. How you doing, Brad? Yeah, I, I just was wondering uh you know, the, uh, the, the religious people that, that make this argument, like, uh, they, they seem so certain in their, uh, you know, you know, you know, it's a fact. Everything has to have a cause. And I'm like, one, where do they get that from? I mean, that has, has that been proven? <laughs> I don't believe it has. In fact, uh, I think if you look at, at modern physics, you find lots of things that don't have causes. Yeah. When, when, you, when you have an alpha particle, which comes out of a radioactive uh, um, atom, which is decaying, what caused the alpha particle? Uh, yeah. what, what physics says right now is not, we don't know. That what they say is, there was no cause. It just happened. Now, you, yeah, give it it, given you know, a bazillion uh, atoms, you can, you, can say, you can talk about statistics, but in terms of what caused this one right here, there is no cause. Right. So then, the, uh, they're pretty much. Uh, so one one of the uh, as you as you as you're <laughs> you're sensing here, one of the premises just just falls flat. Everything has a cause. Well, no, it doesn't. And and, and then of course you 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 do get into to the the thing we talked about. Well, great. What caused God then? <laughs> well, yeah, it always goes back to that. Then, if everything has to have a cause, what causes that? And then what causes that? And then. It, 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 they they, they want to make talking the, about infinity. You're just talking about the infinite cause of. Everything. They, they want to hand okay. wave an exception for God, and I'm not sure it really works that way. Yeah, this is proof of God by programmatical recursion, if I might. <laughs> <laughs> um, anything else for us, Brad? Uh, no, that was, that was just going to be a quick call. I just, uh, I, I've been hearing this Kalam uh, argument. Uh, I even heard it today on, uh, uh, on the, the Magic Sandwich show, and <laughs> and, I, and I was just like, you know, it, it, it's not been proven, has it? And I don't know why people get away with. Uh, you know, bringing this argument up as though it's, it's a valid point, because it's well, really not. <laughs> I mean, people, people hear it at different points in their lives. Yeah, we've and all someone heard it. just heard it, and they thought, like, this is the argument that I'm going with from That's now true. on. Well, you have a good day, Brad. Yep, you too. I have to admit that, that once upon a time when I was doing the grand tour of religions, that that argument kind of swayed me. And I, I haven't heard of it as the Kalam argument, but I'm, I'm actually pretty familiar with it. The, the, the Kalam variation is... Um, is the the phrase everything that had a beginning, and so uh, if if you didn't have that, then then that that quickly becomes well. well what about God? You well, know? that's all very Battlestar Galactica. It all happened before. It'll all happen again. Everything has a cause. Are we talking about remakes? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean it happened one. before. Never mind. <laughs> ah.